Oh. Yeah, I think we have to call 1.6 for 3.7. Can't be too bad. <laughs> oh, Sammy boy, I love you. He talked me into the call. All right, we're back. Yeah, I mean, when he bets so big, I expect very little forward equity, to be honest. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna jam. I mean, I wouldn't forward kings there either, so. Just a setup. Are we three betting here to ace four suited? It's not the worst flop for our range because we're going to be f three betting a lot of hands that are like queen jack, jack 10, 10 nines. Um, but still, our ace kings have also missed quite often. And kings and aces don't necessarily want to play for stacks. So I go for a check and decide between check calling and check raising, depends on the sizing and timing. I think I'll go for a check call. Well, we could probably get his... Um... No, I go for a check raise. 14. I think we just, it's better to get his ace queens to forward and some, some ace eights, ace nines that might bet for a free shot on. Which I think is probably quite low frequency. And we cover him, yeah, that, that really sucks to run into a set there. I'm sorry, Yuri. Uh, I think in a, when I cover him in a bounty, it's probably a little better to to just take our equity and yeah, free rolling for his bounty. Um, and in a in a free freeze out, I lean more towards check calling there. Um, yeah, of course, uh, we're just gonna call it. Oh, we're not gonna afford our ace queen here. He's gonna have aces and kings quite often, but 25 big blinds. Oh, I'm getting mugged here, guys. I'm getting mugged. I feel it. This is looking like I'm his cow. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm just gonna jam the ace nine suited now here. I hope one of these uh, over jams and then we almost triple up with all the dead money in the middle. 
I mean, there's already 18k in the middle. If, if, if we if we get forwards, I don't think we get forwards. Like, they should never fold. I don't understand why Smug. Like, even if he has. He's 5 off. I mean, I have half a starting stack. One and a half starting bounties already. Like, you have to call an E2. Yeah. <clears throat> That's a sweet turn. Now we're back in the game. I think I'm just gonna, since he covers the big blind and button, I'm gonna be three bit calling this hand. I'll value bet the river here with the ace jack. I think when it's checked down, big blind versus cutoff, I think any pair he would bet. So it very often has weaker king highs and ace highs. Yeah, I'm just gonna... <sighs> Does he have anything better? I think we can block bet against some a size. We can block, we can even have some, some king x. I mean, if we have a king, it's really hard for him to have anything. And I think he's gonna be peeling also a lot of suited aces. Ah, we got some thin value there. From his ace nine and clubs. Yeah, we're just gonna jam the ace three here. Don't expect a lot of four equity, but with bounties in play. And we're gonna call here. Oh, getting wrecked here. We're drawing dead. In the 5k and we're gonna jam here with the ace king of course to take a second bullet would like i i don't know i never see anything worse than kings there like at least queens or an ace queen would be nice what are you guys doing there with ace queen just folding <laughs> Ah, it's running terrible. This guy already has three bounties. Three bounties and he's shoving starting stack. Yes, we have to gamble here. One bounty is worth roughly 3,000 chips. So we've, yeah, we have to gamble, guys. We have to gamble. Let's send it. Yeah, yeah, we're live. We're live. We're still live. And we're even more live. Ah. And we're jamming with the ace check suited in the 50 stack. From the big blind. Very, very standard. And we don't mind take, getting the folds. I think for the bounty we have to call here. Queen high, nine big blinds. He's gonna be shoving like jack four off and stuff. So at least he's supposed to. And they, of course they have ace 10. Uh, Uh, it's really annoying in those spots where they're probably going to be shoving 80% for 
Oh, this guy plays 62-38. I feel like... This guy is just so wide, but I'm a bit afraid of I'm the nuts range. But the good thing is, if I jam, I'm pretty sure he's going to iso jam. And unless I'm the nuts is trapping, then we get it in against his jack nine suited. Like, he's just a... He likes to YOLO around, so... I think it's a decent spot to... Um Get it in against the wide range. Nines, we are shoving. Yeah, bounty sometimes you need to adjust your ranges heavily. I really hope... Well, this is what I was not hoping. And he has the king queen. Oh. <laughs> uh, Alright. Ah, but we're gonna rebuy. Otherwise, we're gonna be running out of tables today too fast. We are all in. Yes, I'm playing the $500 WPT KO event. Unfortunately, we're also already short there, 25 bigs though. Uh, and we're all in here with the A7 off, of course. This is how we're supposed to flop. Another gun maiden race cut of cords. I mean, we cover both, so, so we're obligated to be a bit more loosey goosey, have a sandwich. Ew. I think we just want to be stabbing um, rather small with a very wide range. We certainly have way more... Um, way more connectivity with this board. They're not supposed to be playing so many suited connectors. So we're going to have more 4, 5, 6, 8 suited, 7x. And... We have him dead. Oh, 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 oh. How did he get his equity there? And we scoop a big bounty and bounty daddy is back in town. Just gonna regen the jack 10 suited. Very nice hand to do that with. For like, still with four, four equity, 13 big blinds. Of course, he's gonna have aces a decent amount of the time. Ace queen. Oh, actually, nice induce. Nice induce there. Nope. We're gonna fire one more bullet. I think this is spot here to slow play my aces. Three betting looks very strong. Jamming is. And we encourage the blinds to come along. We don't need to bet big to... Uh, I think his range is very weak. And we block the clubs anyway, so I want him to pick something up with his, I don't know, ace jack or... And then we can jam the river. I mean, if he has a better hand, we want to would have gotten it in anyway. And by checking, we also protect our Jack-10 and Diamonds that uh, we can't keep barreling. So we also have a hand we can defend on the river against the turn check back. And I think we mostly want to jam or um, yeah, call. I, I don't think you want to be raising like 20k or something. You're very polarized in this spot. You either have like a monster, like quads, or a boat, or aces, or maybe a king queen. But you're not going to be very raising queen jack or queen 10. It wouldn't be it's a, uh, now a mistake to, to raise to like 20k.
and we're just going to be jamming the 10-8 suited here hope not to be dominated <laughs> two outs two outs that's just not going very well i can tell you that i'm gonna risk everything here with a nine deuce off we couldn't get a better hand at least we didn't get seven deuce off so that's at least something should be grateful for that Drawing that. That was an expensive adventure in the 5k. Since the pot is protected, I think we want to mainly um, be min betting. And here, check spec the flop. I pot the turn. I think I'm just going to shove the river. Um, he shouldn't have a lot of boats when he checks the flop. Oh, people really don't like falling, huh? Ah. At least call with a heart. But sometimes you get owned. Yeah, I should probably counter and it just... People... I don't know if people often enough do consider um, like I feel like sometimes they call exact the same range against the pot bet as against like a three times over bet. Um, I don't know. Um, I think. I think the queen nine blocker is, is is not so important since I don't have nines. I don't have ace queen. I don't have queens. So it's very hard for me to have boats, but I will have mostly flushes. So if he has something like king queen with a king and heart, it's just such a such a uh, good bluff catcher um, against my overbet. And I have all the flushes, right? And I can still have a six. I think if he has something like 9-6 suited, it's probably better to bluff catch there than uh, queen 9. Since, yeah, I, I never have ace-queen, I never have 9s. I'm going to be 3 betting them all pre-flop. Yeah, definitely going to bet. He will check some aces here, and... Um, we have also king-queen, queen-jack floats that want to take a step now. I would check back some weaker a6, some 10x. I think we don't need to check back our do sex. On this board, we will have enough checks. And we're gonna jam the river. Just jamming the king queen here. <clears throat> it's probably only ten or maybe jacks or nines or we gotta call it.
GG WPT Every single time you slow play aces, it just goes so wrong. Show me a 10-9. Okay, actually, uh, that was it's actually a good outcome. I mean, for in terms of the equity that we got it in. Don't do it. Just don't. Thank you. All right, we got two all-ins with king-queen. One over here and one over here. That's great, the isogem. I love to see it. Maybe old Brock is still folding. Also got caught here. Uh, uh, ten ball. Oh, only two tens. Absolutely getting dominated today. Let's. Nope. Also out of the side event, and we are down to four tables. Chat. I mean, I'm only afraid of ace deuce or nine deuce and clubs. Seven six off. Chat, no respect. I mean, he, he should have ace eight, ace seven, ace four, ace five. No respect anymore. Yeah, with all the dead money here, I think we just have to jam king queen off. Good luck, us. They're gonna opening weaker hands. And if we get it through, we almost double up without a showdown. That's just insane. Sam, 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 Sam. Four big blinds. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, I think we have to call one point six for three point seven. Can't be too bad. <laughs> oh, Sammy boy, I love you. All right. He talked me into the call. Ah. Sam deserves it. C 
see Graf Tekke, what did you call with? King Queen, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna check raise my 6 5 here for protection. I think I just I just wanna fold out his King Jack and Clubs and, and Jack Tens. And if he calls, we can still hit a 4, a 5, or a 6. Yeah, I think this is uh, 17 bigs. I mean, he's jamming all the pairs, probably some jack tens. 10 nines. Ah, yeah, this 10 big blind, 10 big blinds. So it's actually, yeah, I think I'm gonna call it this. So the king jack suited, queen jack suited that he's jamming, doesn't want to race with. A race forward with. I don't think it's ever gonna be ace king or ace queen, yeah. We're at least always flipping and have him. Dominated decent amount of the time as well. <sighs> dirty, dirty, dirty. <laughs> we are going for a bounty chat. Let's fucking go. Got him dead. The sheriff goes all in. Yeah, I'm gonna call here for the bounty. And we have him dominated. We even blocked some diamonds. Ay, 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 ay. This looking good. Oh, even already two bounties. Ooh, that's sweet. Mmm, nom nom. <laughs> I like this. I like for how, how you motivated to study with Trump as president. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, I'll just go for a limp jam here with sevens. Can be signs of a man flu. Yeah, exactly. Terrible, terrible. Thirty bigs, sevens, limp jam should be quite standard, and we got him. Sets are back, baby! We got the bounty daddy to our left. <clears throat> I'm probably gonna be jumping over us for a bit. We still have Ford equity. And good luck us. This might be a huge one for this tournament. He likes proof of aggression, so. Very slow rolling coming.
Interesting. Maybe tens, maybe ace queen. Hmm. Now we're gonna check jam the river. Big pot, chat. Big pot. I really hope he doesn't have the pocket kings or pocket jacks or the pocket sixes. But we have some two pairs beat with ace king beat. And I don't think he's going to be falling king seven or king six here. We have a decision to make with some of our hands. So um, if we want to bluff, let's say we have a six five in clubs, you know. Blocking the six would be a legitimate bluff. Six eight, six five. No snap call so far. How many ace kings are we getting in this tournament, huh? Good luck us. Alright, unlucky. Got a good run of cards now. I have to raise call a 7 suited. He was re jamming nine big blinds, and as you can see, a bit of a bit goofing around here. Oh, really? That is not nice. Um, we want a bad flop, shove, turn. <clears throat> now we check turn. We still have some bluffs and we want to stop bluffing and we also block his entire calling range. Pretty standard check. We're gonna be shoving our ace check off up here. Uh, we have the stone nizzle. We get it through. I think he probably just has a, like a king jack or king queen in spades and wants to make a cheap bluff. Which is uh, the benefit of checking back the turn because you get value from like queen jack spades, king jack spades. They might hit a king or queen and then just jam it into you, otherwise they fold the turn. 
So really important to check back your nut flushes there. Yes, I'm sending. I'm gonna. I'm sending a big hug to my friends from Brazil. Hope you guys are doing well. Like this run of cards is insane. I'm telling you, that just. I'm not so happy about that sizing, but we'll see. I think we can bet big here for value. <clears throat> okay, finally we got a hand that we not we are not gonna play. Look at that. King Queen, Ace Queen, Ace King, King Jack, Ace Eight, K Ace King, Ace King. I mean what the fuck? He's probably super tilted. I threw it him off for the third or fourth time. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, yeah, wait, I'm gonna hand. Ooh, let's go. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, Wolski, Podolski. Yes, yes, yes. No, I'm good, thank you. Maybe some salt? I just got some delicious, it's not really pasta, it's like a chickpea pasta, just mostly protein with some tomatoes. Yeah? Come here, don't be so shy. Come here. Chat. Can, can you? Can you please come? No. That's... <laughs> Last time you danced. Yeah, I'm still gonna jam here. I mean, we have the Queen in Hearts, which is good. He's probably gonna have any ace in his range. So let's go. He covers us. He's a friend of the stream. And some delicious olives. Mm, nom nom. I can highly recommend chickpea pasta. It's great. It's folding. Good fold, my friend. Disciplined. But I'm uh, very much interested in football anyway. WSOP in all of it. Yeah, we're cruising short. Oh, we're ahead. Lots of outs to fade. We block some. Oh, oh, that's dirty. I was like, that's a diamond. And it didn't show any any number, any the edges of the numbers. So it's like probably a wheel card. And then the 10, boom. Dirty, 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 very dirty. Yeah, we're going to be all in here against Alex Foxen. And... Oh, we got the aces out. Okay, now we're dead. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, GG is just ripping me apart. I mean, he can still have ace jack, king queen. Uh, I mean, bounty has two third pot left. I mean, not flush draws. Uh, we get snap, ace queen, jacks. Ah. <clears throat> Daily Supersonic and also the High Roller Supersonic jumped in there as well. I think flooding is fine. I got some hands here. No, probably see here. Oh. With a bounty daddy and the daily 1k cooldown. Someone is making moves here, huh? My friend from Brazil. Good luck for Mars. Appreciate you sending uh, best wishes from the Mars. This guy has an insane fold to forward, so I'm just gonna rip it into him. Good luck, us. We're also here for some puns, right? So here we go. I'm sorry, dude. Uh, we defend pre against the min race, almost min race. Check all the flop. We lead the turn. Uh, if the river is not a club, I will very likely jam. <clears throat> now we have showdown value against his clubs. The question is, is he folding? Let me see. Yeah, I'm gonna jam still. I hope he folds his over pairs. Maybe he had a flush draw. He seems like a good player. There's some some wrecks, you know. It's like it's a bounty. I have ten big players. I have an overpair. What whatever. Let's let's just call. 
But he can still have a comeback, you know. So Jamming the A7 suited, 17 bigs, there's already 800 in the middle. Yeah, 10 big blinds regem. We have to call for the bounty. Do we? Yeah, he has one and a half bounties already. Starting stack is. Yeah. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna bet on this river. We should have a decent amount of forward equity. And we're going here for the bounty. And we're dead. I mean, it's really hard to have bluffs. So I think if he has an ace nine or seven eight or ace seven king seven, I hope I hope he's holding it. If he's calling, I don't mind. I'm gonna have so many value hands here in this spot. Wow, would have. Ah, thank God he woke up with jacks. No. <laughs> No, Brock, why you fold? Uh, this could be some interesting dynamics here. If um, people are gonna cut off button, uh, sorry, button hijack are probably gonna be playing very wide ranges. So yeah, I'm just gonna jam here to get his bounty. I think Big Blind will overcall very wide as well. Oh, oh, oh. We get Big Ben's bounty, right? Alright, I take it. I take it. That was dirty, 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 dirty. Whew. I mean, we could we could jam. There's already 60k in the middle, but I think we're in possession. We're still quite deep. Um, yeah, we're on the final table, and we're probably gonna have our first all in. Wow. <clears throat> I think I have to fold. I mean, 
it's 50 bigs. Even if it's margin, it's never going to be printing, and I think I would have a bit bigger edge. <clears throat> great spot, great spot. Boom, chat, let's go. Seven's no good. 750 bucks. And Bounty Daddy. GG uh, the seven six and think we just have to uh block bet for the river there's no alternative check calling I don't like he's not gonna be value betting anything worse oh we have an all in your ace versus kings oh graf graf you dirty little Dirty little bastard. Why well, sand, my friend? Nice friend. Ni nice friend, my hand. I <laughs> sand, my friend. Definitely gonna be calling a three bet with King Jack off here. Um, I expect Smallbland to play quite aggressively. He's now the show. All right, I'm not gonna be calling that. <laughs> Probably gonna be calling eights, sevens plus, eights plus. His bounty is quite big, so I expect him to play quite aggressive. Yeah, we should definitely see that here. checking on this turn I'm not sure if we can check jam I think we can. I mean, I'm, I'm only afraid of nines and sevens, which is very unlikely. Aces as a slow play. And then lots of nine X 
Aids, Flush Draws. He has roughly pot left. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna be check shoving. He could level himself hero calling with a nine. Oh, Aces, I knew it. Oh. Yeah, I mean, on this river we might get we might get out of the way when there's another nine and he t bets because then we block the ten eights. Yeah anyway we can't live in every pot so of course some point we need to take some hits but that's alright. Uh, quite nasty. Uh, 20 bigs ace and off. If we face a regem, we are going to call for bounty. I mean, yeah, good luck, us. All right, we got lucky there. I mean, it makes sense to check because I think, first of all, he bets quite small in the flop. So I think ace 10, king 10 might actually be a little unlikely. So. I think bluff catching against queen jacks, king jacks is pretty good. Either ace king and, and diamonds, even. <laughs> uh, 20 big blind regem here, small blind versus hijack, pretty standard call with sevens.
Let's go. <clears throat> it's probably a hand that does quite well. Mighty way. Chat, are we going to go for a big bluff here? We block king six. I mean, kings is the only hand I'm really afraid of. Let's do it. Oh, what is this turn? <sighs> Jesus. I mean, the only sizing that we would make him for the king would be all in. But I doubt that's gonna happen. He has king, queen, king, jack. I think he just hears me. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, I got lucky. I got very lucky there with the king. That saved me. I would have sent it all the way to the river. Ah. <laughs> uh. Flooding the ace nine suited on oh, pre flop. Oh. I'm going to check. I don't want to face a check jam again. Yes. I'm going to bet big. I think he's going to have ace king quite often. Or an under pair anyway, then it doesn't matter. I couldn't even go bigger. Muk muk. King Jack. I mean, similar as Ace King. I'm gonna float here with the King Queen clubs. Bet the turn. Oh, this is a pretty bad turn. Block ace, king, ace, queen, which is good. I'm just wondering, is he c betting that many a6? Okay, like a7, yeah. But then it's probably also eights, sixes, a lot, tens. Yeah, I think it's not that many. Gonna jam here in the meantime. Against his five big blinds button jam. I 
Yeah, okay, H3. Oh, uh, if he doesn't hit his ace, it's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. Graffy, you lucky bastard. Uh, all right, we have an easy jam now. For she's moment doubles up and is also around our stack. So now we are almost a short stack. Eight big blinds, ace check suited. His range is going to be super tight, like ace queen plus, tens plus, I would assume. I mean, ace check is pretty much the bottom what I'm shoving here. Wow, wow, that's, that's, that's ICM suicide. Oh, this guy limps ace eight off and <laughs> calls it off against the button jam. Wow! And I folded ace eight off. He had two outs. AC ICM suicide as its best. Um, yeah, sevens. We probably go with it. Yeah. Good luck, us. He's against his range. We're we're now the shortest stack. Good luck, us. Getting in good. Let's hold. Uh, here in, in the turbo format, the chips are very important. I mean, nines. We are getting it in here against this four big blind jam. Nice. Uh, King Queen, I'm gonna be just be shoving here. Even though our bounty's big, but Tekka is opening heaps, and he's clearly a chip leader, so probably he's even opening Queen Five suited and stuff. Oh, it's so painful. Like, how many times did we have that? That we re jammed and then someone else wakes up. GG, take it. Take it down, bro. Uh, I can't chat. All right. Anyway, maybe you watch the stream. Um, this is tricky. I mean, the chips now are really, really expensive. I'm just gonna fold it. Still, also. Collusion likelihood possible. <laughs> That's nasty. We raise pre, we see bad flop, we bad turn. Um, I think he still has some weaker ace x um, and has half pot left. I mean, we get to jam. He still has ace jack, ace 10, ace 8, ace 9. Um, he called rather fast. Oh, so. That was for a $200 bounty, he got us there on the river. <laughs> and we're not giving up here. <sighs> Man, what the fuck is going on? to fold it. Oh, he really folds. We can't even jam that. We need high cards now. We need high cards.
Whereas, I mean, there's already 125k in the middle. And we need to win 125k. Oh. Yeah. Green is always going to call against any two. Oh, I'm really not sure. Maybe he folds. Maybe he folds the seven dudes off. Could be. All right, GG. I mean, the price is just too good. Like, we need to invest 125k for 125k. I mean, we for sure have 33% equity against the. Uh, Against a calling range, our oh, ICM is pretty low anyway. We're like by far the shortest stack, so. Cash for another 6k. Um, the ace queen hand. Was very nasty. Just the ace queen hand was very nasty. So as you can see, the minor, the minungen, the opinions are spread far. I will run this. I will run the spots. I would have. I would have expected that. If I get it in, that button is also not folding. Uh, and then three way all in really sucks. Like three way all in because we need to win against both. <laughs> and I, I mean, he also saw that this guy, he limp called and all in with ace eight off earlier. He just doesn't doesn't give fucks fucks about ICM. If he raises his ace ten off, he's gonna call it off. Like Like I might overvalue ICM here guys for sure. I'm not saying I'm right. It means. Um I mean who in the world studies six big blind open uh, small band shoving range. I don't even know. Even if I run it an IC miser, I don't know what this guy is going to be opening with 6x. Like, the results are going to be so falsified because he can do it with queens, he can do it with fucking ace twos off, and I don't know his frequency. Like, he could be opening 30%, he could be opening 60%, he could be opening 20%. It actually, there's no point in analyzing it in an IC miser because the way they're playing is just so. Yeah, so weird and so random, and... So... I have to say, like, sorry, I'm not... I'm not a pro in these sports by any means, because they're just so random when, when you play against recreations and they make, like, six big blinds, eight big blind open race, and... Actually, we didn't invest 125k for the 653, it was like 98k for the 125k, so... Yeah, it feels weird, right? Folding a screen and then jamming, then jamming 663, yeah, but it's a complete different situation. big plans just gonna jam yeah i mean I, I call this all in i don't know what he's now trying to achieve here king jack suited three bet all right all right we want this one as well going for a delayed bluff on the river
Wow, he limps ace five off for 12 big blinds. Checking the five, they're interesting. I think I'm just gonna jam the queen jack off. Probably can race race forward for value, like he has so many draws. He likes to raise rivers, so I'm gonna give him the option. Interesting that he's limping there with sixes. Is he playing limp only also with seven big blinds? Yeah, I'm gonna bluff again. I think he's gonna call in a lot of king highs and stuff, and diamond draws, and some club draws that he's gonna fold on the river. Above the river. Shopping is fine, checking is also fine. It's very high in being checking. He plays very honest. Didn't expect that, to be honest.
Wow, is, is he tilted? It takes so long. Why don't you just jam preflop then? Yeah, King 8, easy shaft. Wow. He has 63. He had 63% on the flop. How do we how do we dodge that? That's impossible. Alright. We continue. <clears throat> Let's go! Barry on the river! Alright, we ship two 3k spin and goes at the end. Ah, oh, alright. Good, good. So basically, he assumes that button raises 12%. Small blind, uh, small blind jams around 3%. And guys, to be honest, against the six big blind open, Yao is a good rag. He has seen these guys doing so crazy shit on the final table. I mean, he he, he knows what was going on. So I don't think he's going to be re jamming ace nine. So I think ace queen plus, ace jack plus, king queen suited even, nines plus is already quite realistic. Chip leader against second chip leader against the six picks blind open, where he has to assume that he might not have so much for equity. Um, so. It's literally to it's it's literally break even. So of course he if even if he regems some ace tens, it's gonna stay. But I think it's it's worse it's worse taking the break even spot given our situation. So I overestimated my own situation and ICM and I think we should go for the, for the, with the spot. So I agree with the chat here. Um, yeah, we should go with it. But you can see it's it's goddamn close. So if someone wants to fold here, I don't mind. Like, I, I can see reasons for both. And we need to agree that sometimes we disagree on sports. Okay. Um, but but you see, you have to be very, very tight. Like, don't get it in with ace-10 suited. Don't get it in with ace-jack off. If you get it in with ace-queen, if you fold, I think this is not going to determine whether you're going to crush these games. And there's no point in debating about these super super margin uh, spots over and over again.